Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Lunette cups and several, several of the other cups that I have on hand. I've been wanting to do this video because I see a lot of people asking about um, the firmness of the Lunette. It is the second to the last firmest cup that I have on hand. The Yuki is the most firm cup that I have and it is only the medium resistance. So the Lunette is a, a fairly um, firm cup. Um, I do have both small and size lar uh, sizes small and large here, but I'm going to um, mostly be doing just the larges. Uh, you don't have to watch the whole video. Um, you can go to the description below and find a specific cup that you are looking for. And if I have it, it'll be listed down there with a timestamp. If you just click on the timestamp, you'll be taken directly to that specific cup. So you don't have to watch the whole thing because this is a fairly long video. Um, I will also include the dimensions of the cup, um, the measurements and whatnot in the description below as well. And hmm, I think that's it. So let's get started. So that wasn't it. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but I, I do need to explain that um, I use the palms of my hands to compare two cups together. And I use the palms of my hands because I think that it gives a more equal or even amount of pressure than if I was using my fingertips and thumbs like this. But I'm going to be measuring the softness or firmness of the back of the cups or the bottom of the cups down here first. And then I will also do the rims of the cups because they are different as well. So what I look for when I'm doing this squish test is um, I place them between the palms of my hands and I might, might fidget because some of these cups um, like to roll away from me. So when I place them between the palms of my hands and I squeeze, I look for which cup um, gives in or caves in onto itself. So as you can see here on the small lunette, both of the sides of the cup are getting pressed together. So the small lunette is softer on the bottom than the large lunette, which is uh, which has resistance to withstand being caved in by the other cup. So that's what I'm looking for. And that's the same as the the rims here. You can see th the small lunette cup rim is folding itself and uh, touching on both sides and the large Luna is holding its shape a little bit better. So that's how I do this squish test. So this is the large lunette in the large blossom cup and the large blossom cup. And right away you can see how soft the blossom cup is. So inside lunette and inside the blossom cup. And the rims. so soft it kind of rolls away from me and that was the blossom cup this is the large cup Lee and for some reason my lighting just went to heck and my cup Lee is quite dirty <laughs> and the inside of the lunette and inside of the coupley. And the rims. And that was the coupley. This is the Diva Cup in size large or size two. inside of the lunette and inside of the diva cup and the rims that doesn't feel even there we go
and that was the Diva Cup. Here are the Eva Cups in size small and size large. I'll go ahead and do the small and large Eva Cup together first, and then I'll do the two larges, um, the Lunette Large and the Eva Cup Large together after that. So the green is the small Eva Cup, and the purple is the large. inside the small and inside the large and here are the rims and the rims are really similar and then the lunette and the eva cup both in size large or size 2. So inside the Lunette and inside the Eva Cup. And the rims. And that was the Eva Cup. This is the Femme Cup or Femi Cup, however you say it. And I think it only comes in one size. The back of the cups. And that is the Femme Cup making sound there. Inside Lunette. And inside the Femme Cup. and the rims. And that was the foam cup. This is the flare cup and it does not come with a pouch. This is the size large. The back of the cups. And the rims. And that was the flare. My lighting. This is a Juju Cup or Juju Cup. And this is the um, size small in both of these cups. So the size small Lunette and the size small Juju Cup. Inside Lunette and inside the Juju Cup and the rims and that was the Juju Cup. Oops, sorry. This is the Lady Cup in size large. the back of the cups. Oop, they rolled away from me. Inside the lunette and inside the lady cup. And the rims. And that was the Lady Cup. This is the Lily Cup Compact. And um, this is a small, but it's it's kind of hard to measure these two or measure this cup just because it has a different, um, a different shape to it. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyhow just so that you can get an idea. Sorry for the fidgeting here. So here is the back of the cups. Oh, it's so soft. The back of the cups, the lunette, and 
the lily cup and the rims pretty similar there and that was the lily cup compact in size small this is the maluna cups um, these are both the classics this is a medium classic. This is the size that they had suggested to me when doing the size calculator. It didn't work out for me. Um, had I known to get one size larger, it might have worked out for me. So I'm going to go ahead and compare these two together. And since the lunette and the large of the Maluna are more similar, I'm going to compare those two together. So I'm going to put this on the side for a second. So the small is the medium, cla um, medium classic. And the blue is the large classic. So here's the inside of the medium classic. And inside the large classic. and the rims. I do have a video of the Maluna um, compared to the Diva Cup, but just the medium, large, and extra large if you're curious about that. I also have the whole sample ring set um, for you to view if you want to look at the different sizes. So these are more similar in size. And this is the Lunette Large or size 2 and the Maluna Large in Classic. So the inside of the Lunette and inside of the Maluna. And the rims. Also note that the lunette is made out of silicone and the maluna is made out of TPE. And that was the malunas. This is the moon cup, the USA version, size B, which is the smaller of the two sizes that they offer. and the small lunette. So the back of the cups, inside the lunette, and inside the moon. And the rims. And that was the Moon Cup USA version. This is the Natural Mama Cup. It is the patent version. And I believe they only come in one size. The back of the cups. Inside the Lunette. And inside the Natural Mama. and the rims and that was the natural mama cup this is the nature cup or nature cup however you want to say it um, I can't remember if they come in different sizes but this would be the larger of the two sizes if they had, do have a small the back of the cups and the rims pretty similar and that was the nature cup
This is the Ruby Cup in size, I think they consider it medium, but they only have a small and a medium. Uh, they didn't have a large, they or they don't have a large, they haven't named it large. So anyhow, um, so this is the larger of the two sizes that they do offer. Inside the lunette and inside the ruby. And the rims. And that was the ruby cup. This is the Schoon cup in a size large. And I don't know if this is the pouch that it originally came in. I bought mine in a D stash, so it came with that pouch. And here are the back of the cups. And the rims. And that was the Schoon Cup. This is the Sabelle Cup in a size large. And here are the back of the cups. It's a very, very soft cup. And the rims. And that was the Sabelle. This is the Silky Cup in size medium. They carry small, medium, and large. Um, it is from India and... Mm, oh, it is made out of TPE. It's the only other cup that I know that is made out of TPE, other than the Maluna. So here are the back of the cups. And the rims. And that was the Silky Cup in medium. This is the Yuki Cup. It's the medium resistance or economy. I don't know which one they call it, but it's the medium of the resistances. There's a harder one and a softer one. Uh, this is a size small. inside the lunette and inside the Yuki cup. And the rims. It just rolled away from me. And that was the Yuki cup. These are two no-name China cheapy brands, or it's not a brand, uh, but I have a small and a large here. Um, I have not tried these cups after doing research on silicones. I'm a little worried to, to try them out. I did have problems with one other cup that I, f I felt and it felt very um, odd when I inserted it and I did question about the silicone but it was one of the brand name cups and, and I still went ahead and tried it but um, it made me a little scared to even try these so please buy them at your own risk um, I'm gonna go ahead and compare the small and the large of these two cups together first and these are knockoffs of the lunette cup, but the consist or not consistency, the um, 
resistance is is different. So if my camera will focus here, here's the inside of the small and inside of the large. And the rims and then I will uh, compare the large lunette to the large no-name brand so even the even though the models or the model of the knockoff cup is supposed to be after the lunette you can see that it is quite different and here are the rims and that was a no-name brand so that's the comparison of the lunette cup to the other cups that I do have on hand um, hopefully I didn't or, or hopefully I covered a cup that you were looking for uh, I continue to try to get new cups in um, so check back frequently to see if uh, another cup that you were interested in might be on my list um, and until next time thanks for watching <laughs>